one. All right, guys. We're going to walk through my zone heart rate training zones. So this is a question we get a lot. Um, I think it's a great question. Um, but what do the different training zones mean? How does it show like the MEPS and stuff of that nature? So I'm just going to walk through everything there. So what we're looking for in this PDF that I have here is the effort level versus how it actually feels. Okay. So what we're trying to do with my zone is make sure that you are pushing yourself to an uncomfortable level. And we're using this rating system to tell us where you really are in your heart rate monitor. monitor. So first thing you have to know is the my zone heart rate monitor bases this initial assessment on your, on what your initial heart rate is based on a formula of 220 minus your age. So let's say you're 20 years old, which makes it super simple. So you're 20 years old, so it's 220 minus uh, 20, which is your heart max heart rate is 200 beats per, heart, uh, beats per minute, right? So we have 200 beats per minute. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna multiply that by like 65%, like 0.65, which tells you what 65% of your heart rate would be, which would be here in the blue. And then 0.75 for there, or 0.7 or whatever it is, right? That's the calculations it's kind of doing to kind of give it how close your beats are to that number. So what my zone does itself is then over time it actually adjusts itself as you've gotten fitter or you've gotten detrained, which means you haven't been training as much. It will make adjustments on either side of that spectrum. So you might have an adjustment once in a while for an email from my zone saying that it has up to updated uh, your heart, rate, heart rates. So I'm going to kind of go through and explain what these different levels, how your body physically should feel in these different levels. And we can actually update the heart rate monitors on our side, on our side as well. So if you feel like one of these things is true, um, like a red, let's say I, on this one, you, you technically shouldn't be able to talk at all in red. So if you're able to talk and have conversation inside of red, then maybe you, your heart rate level is currently too low. So we need to up that a little bit. And you can come to us and we can up that for you. So you're actually seeing the right numbers that it's supposed to be. It's fun to see red and fun to see yellow. But if you're not actually working that hard comparable, it's actually giving you a false sense of what your effort level is. So we need to make sure we get those updated right. So I'm going to go through those here. So first part of this thing, this is something that uh, Wattify Pulse actually created to kind of give an idea of what these are. So we have our 50 to 59, 60 to 60. So it, uh, point wise, let's see if they have the points on these. Um, they don't have my zone points, so I'll go through them here. <clears throat> so my zone points, gray, you'll get. So we'll go. The, each of these are four points. So red and yellow, you both get four points for those, and my zone effort points, which just means the it's a calculation they use to show how much effort you give. You have to be inside of this zone for more than 30 seconds for it to count for that amount of time. Okay, so you have four points, four points, three points in the green, two points in the yellow, or uh, sorry, in the blue, um, and one point if you're in the gray. Okay, so that's how it's calculating out points for your my zone effort points. So can, the thing I here is red is supposed to be an all out max effort, right? So if you're hanging out in the red and you know you're not going like 100%, um, then it's probably not a very accurate thing. Um, 80 to 89 percent is short and intense, extremely uncomfortable. So you really shouldn't be able to talk or have a conversation in, in either of these. Like in red, like if somebody tries to talk to you, you should just literally want to flip them off. That's how bad you should feel. <laughs> and in the yellow, you should like be able to maybe say one, maybe two words at a time, but that's it. So if you're able to have like some conversation, if I can talk to you as a coach and you can answer my questions, you're probably really not in this conversation thing because you shouldn't be able to understand me in that one. The 70, 79%, this is a little bit, I mean, it's uncomfortable, but this is probably where most people are at and think they're actually in the red, right? So you're actually probably in the green when you think you're in the red. So in this one is where you're, you're working pretty hard. You're definitely sweating. You can have a conversation with me. You can breathe relatively comfortable. Um, the blue is where, like, this is where you're kind of going to be running in um, in this category. And this is one where you can have a pretty decent conversation, um, but you're not going to be able to have, like, a, a great like thought process throughout the conversation. And then when you're in the gray, that's one where you can be like doing a workout while talking to a friend at the same time. Okay, so here's kind of the breakdown of the effort levels. So consistent effort sustained for less than 10 seconds. Um, so you have to like, you could probably only be hanging out in the, in the red for about 10 to 30 seconds at most uh, of an effort kind of exercise. Um, you can do be consistent effort inside of less, a little less than five minutes in the yellow. You can be inside of the green for seven to 20 minutes consecutive 
um, 20, 25 minutes in the blue and more than 25 minutes in the gray. So those kind of give, give you some feedback on your, your overall fitness level to say like these are where you should be in these categories. So if you're hanging out in red, you're probably actually – you're hanging out in red for a long period of class. You're probably only inside that green category. And so we need to be aware of that. You need to kind of let us know so we can kind of adjust that for you. We don't watch those that closely, and we haven't gone through and adjusted a lot of things. Um, but if you would like to have those adjusted so you get a, a real true um, outlook on how your fitness is, please let us know so we can adjust them for what we need. So we're looking at like how the body works um, in terms of – energy systems so this category is called our anaerobic so that means you're, you're using pure anaerobic pretty much you can't breathe during that time um the fat burn the, the sweet fat burn spot is going to be inside the yellow and the green category and we're part aerobic part anaerobic uh, and then aerobic here which is a little bit more running meaning long distance running and this a little bit more uh quick movements and then this one's where you're going to be your green blue is going to be where you should be doing your long distance runs at anything more than two miles and then um, this one over here is more of a walking kind of pace or a light bike or a row. You know, here they have good examples of these. A light jog, a 5K or a filthy 50 kind of exercise. A CrossFit Open is like their example, but that would be more like the game changer workout um, or our chaos programming. And the finishers are probably going to be in the green a lot. Yellow is a category like it's got to be uh, a leg matrix. It has to be uh, 21, 15, 9, those kind of exercises. 50 bur burpees for time, that's where the, green, the, the yellow is going to be coming in. And then the red, we're going to hit like at the very end of a workout maybe. If you've gone max effort and pushed this yellow for a while, then you're going to hit the red. But the red should be very hard to hit inside of our classes. So that's just a quick breakdown of what those look like to give you a more realistic out look on how your heart rate should be if you're hanging out in one of these zones way too long and it's like oh, I've, I've been in red a long time trevor can you please like make an adjustment to this yeah we'll definitely go in and make an adjustment so you can get an accurate outlook of what your effort levels really are we're not trying to uh, say it's bad if you're in red and we're not trying to make it feel, feel bad about it we're just trying to say like it allows us to judge if, if you're actually in red and you're only in the green like category like in terms of like how it's setting up well then there's a lot of levels to go and we can we can be able to push you and get you to that red level and help your fitness so if you're hanging out in red and it looks like you're going max effort and you're really only in green we need to be able to help you get to that next category so that's why we need to make those adjustments hopefully you learned something